in studio! I'm here! This is the most energy we've ever felt in the studio <laughs> since we got back to you, the studio. You and I know how to bring the energy. I mean, are you used to now walking out every day? I mean, from all this, from doing the show every day, like, you have an entrance every day. Yes, and, you know, our director, Adam, you know, he was like, if you want to change it up and walk from somewhere else, there are no rules. And I was like, God, it really took you saying that for me to realize that. Yeah. Like, I would have done the same thing every day. I always wanted to end the show a certain way, and I finally found that with, like, this thing, doggy bag. We'll see if it works. Because you said it, too. Like, you try things, and some things work, and some things don't. What's, the, what, what's doggy bag? It's, um, it's something to take with you. Okay. Oh! Like, at a restaurant. Yes, brilliant. I personally could live a very happy life if I was a personal curator. Like, just let me curate for you. Yeah. And that's what doggy bag is. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of what your, your show is, as well. It is a mood board. It is a curation. It, it's so very you because you go like, yeah, uh, today I want to, uh, I want to talk to, you've launched that, that, that kid star is gigantic. Jonah, no, Jonah, Jonah Larson, who did our pilot, which was not a pilot, let's face it, it was an audition tape. And he came in from Wisconsin and did it with me. And so we were able to get to know each other in person, which was great. So when the show got picked up, for real, he was one of my first phone calls. I was like, I meant what this I said. This kid has Will got personality plus. He's a superstar. But you, you, you have him, uh, uh, Pilar, uh, who I mean. Pilar, who the like chef? She's the I mean. Pilar Valdez. She's this extraordinary chef who I hope. Uh, soon everyone will know, and she's changed our lives, and she's but just self-taught Every day you have cool. someone on the show where you go like, ooh, that's someone I've never, I never heard of, and now they're part of my world, and I, I love that you're, you're doing that. I feel like it's, um, it was such an opportunity for me to, again, that's that curation of life. I'm like, I have found these wonderful people in my journey, and if I could ever be alongside of them, then really that's the whole point. It's not like me presenting. It's I want to stand next to this person because I've I feel like life is better with that minute. Do you like doing the interviews? Is that I love it. I think my favorite interview that you did was with uh, with your ex with Tom Green. That was unbelievable. That... And that was there was no questions uh, prepared for that. I I had an offline conversation with him because we didn't want it to be some bougie Hollywood moment, like let's reconnect in front of the cameras. But that said, I was like, you know, the thing that I love about Tom was he is one of the first people to have put a camera on his life, you know, when it was a giant fat camcorder and there were no easy phones available. And, yeah, yeah. You know, his stuff was on, like, VHS. I remember watching his VHS tapes. And so it's what gave me the idea, because I just said, you know, gosh, would you want to, you know, kind of reconnect? I feel like it's been a long time. And I would just love to honor what you did. You broke down all these doors. You are a pioneer. And I would love to talk about it and have it be an excuse for us to say hello. That's the tone. I sent yeah. him a video, and then he sent me one back. And immediately, he made me laugh. And that's, like, my that's kryptonite him. laughter. It was fascinating. It was, so it was fascinating TV. If you have not seen it, go on YouTube or uh, the Drew Barrymore Show com and check out this clip. It was just good. It was different. It was fresh. And it was, like, it was raw. And I thought that was fascinating. Uh, I loved it. That means a lot coming from you because I think we're some of the least gotcha type of people. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't do that at all. And I, I don't like doing it and I don't no. want it done to me. And it's, it's just not my wheelhouse. And I just wanted to have um, a lot of dignity and like a gentle moment. And it was nice to hear from some people saying like, I'd like to have that with someone from my past, you know, whether it was yeah. a specific person. A lot of people were talking about how they'd like to have that kind of exchange from someone who, you know, they had a significant chapter of their life with. Yeah, I think that's probably the thing is about your shows that it, daytime different than, than, than late night. But it's like you kind of want to spark a conversation and keep that going. I mean, uh, and uh, you, you, you did it. But you know what else you did that I was so impressed? And I already told you, and Chris Miller, I go, 
How did you do the uh, the invisible chair? The green screen. The great the Star Trek guest. I can't, you did it, dude. You hit a home run with that. That was such a good idea. Here's the idea. So Drew's like, Laser, here's my first guest. Uh, I think it was uh, Lucy Liu and Cameron, Cameron Diaz, maybe. Yeah. Cameron Diaz, they come walking out, they sit on a chair, and we're in quarantine. You go, no, no, no. What? They're in New York. What? How is this happening? Yeah. It was totally, they were in LA or Cameron was in LA? Cameron was in LA. Lucy was in the studio. That freaked me out. It was and, amazing. Um, but so Cameron walks out like she's walking on your studio. And I'm like, it's, it's not like, it doesn't look like a puppet or something. It looks like thinking. a human being. It's brilliantly done. I'm, I'm, you know who gave you props? Uh, did you, I don't know if you probably saw this, Oprah. Oprah Winfrey gave you, she, she did an interview. I know, yeah, exactly. I can't believe yeah, it. yeah, Oprah gave you, that's when you know you, you're doing well, right? When, I know. when Oprah's like, I saw what Drew Barrymore did and I wanted to do that. I, I mean, that just. Not bad. You know, but I'm, I'm glad because now we can all embrace this. I mean, it's like we're here. Yep. on this show, and it's a big deal now. This used to be so status quo, no one thought about this. No. And now to have a live person, some people. We're so energy, happy to have you. It's a big deal. It's a giant deal. It makes us appreciate it. Uh, I'm so appreciative. Uh, you, you brought us a clip. Here's a look at the Drew Barrymore show. Take a look at this. For anyone watching, can you guess which one of us isn't really here? Try this. It's so incredible. The ether, the little particles going out into space and coming back, remassing into this beautiful space. You guys, it's crazy. You should try it. It tingles. <laughs> it tingles. You got to try it. The Drew Barrymore Show airs weekdays. Check your local listings or go to thedrewbarrymoreshow.com for more info. Uh, uh -huh. it's going and going and going. Uh, I said. And it's going